Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Got Levi on my shoulder. He's playing shy today. Today he just oh there he is. Oh there he is. Um. Anyways, we are just getting coffee and heading down to the barn. Can't wait for the day where I look up there and she's just standing out there in her little field. Can't wait for the day where I can make like another field for her. Are you having yogurt today? Dad bought her yogurt. I get these little spots that come on. That when get you. On me. Like, remember? Yes. But I do not care. This is my favorite. Yeah, and as you guys can tell, it is riding day. I, I don't know how to fit our riding lessons I, in I, in I, our vlog. So I'm either going to put them as an extra video. Comment below, you guys. Put them in as an extra video at night after the riding. Or put them on their own channels. Put the girls riding on their channel. You guys, comment below. There's me a lesson where I jump three feet. I mean, not three feet. Two, three. And is that how much you jumped? Yeah. So and Gabby's laughing. He was like, we're not gonna jump a lot, and then and then we jump a little cross rail, which Kaylee and I hate because it's harder when it's low. Striding's easier when it's high. And um so if you so then we had to change directions and then he was like canter over the cross rail. And we're like, uh and she's like, do it or else I'll put it up. And the jump cups were already set to two, three, so. So then they're like, put it up, put it up. And then she marched into that arena. Like, we she put yelling. it up. Yeah, and then she put it up. So, yeah, I have all that footage still. And Make Sophie up. had an incredible lesson. Somebody is ready to run, to jump again. Yeah. Anyway, the girls are just going to have a quick breakfast because we'll probably be down at the barn for a few hours. Come home, do homeschool, go back down to the barn, come home, have a snack, go to riding lessons. Come home, go down to the barn, come back, try and eat some supper, edit and go to bed, rinse and repeat. Lunch? lunch? Who has time for lunch? I need lunch. Do you not like those lunch. raspberries? No, I don't like that in my yogurt. No, oh, she does not like it. Strawberries or raspberries? She does not like fruit in her yogurt. No. I love blueberries. <laughs> oh, she loves blueberries. Levi's I like, give them to me. <laughs> oh, Stella, come on, you're killing me. I'm not kidding. Lots of poop. And then mom's not coming down because not look at her tail. Yeah, and because she's dehydrated because she won't drink. So we put hay in her in her bucket. Oh hi. Last night. Oh my goodness, very dehydrated. And she did drink a little. Oh man, you guys, I'm losing my mind. Her poop is not as much. Her, we're putting fluid in everything. And, and she's getting all that. Yeah. Open the door there. Oh wait, let me show them. Like guys, we're doing everything. So there's her soupy grain. And watch what she does with it. She will suck that back. It's faster than a speeding bullet. I feel oh. like she just spits out the Oh, you dirty girl. <laughs> Take it in there and put it on the ground so she's not spitting stuff everywhere. This is not good. Not a lot of poop, which is which I'm happy about. Yeah, you're happy about the less amount of poop. I didn't really even drink her water. She only got the hair out of it. I feel like she just spits out the water. Yeah, she 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 knows. She's like, take me back to my friends. Sounds like she's drinking. She's not. She's just mouthing around in there. Trust me, we were fooled at first, too. To get food. Some of you guys want us to take the bars out of the door. And it could be possible. I see some kind of screw up there. Maybe it loosens stuff. Maybe I don't know. It takes off this part. I don't know. I can just assure you that that's not going to happen. I'm not going to be taking apart our barn. And at this point, um, it's not safe for her to have anything open because she wants to go outside. Like, she's on stall rest. There's a little salt in that thing to encourage her to drink. I'm going to take her outside salt today. You can your hand, Mom, instead of trying to open up her mouth and put it on her top. Yeah. Because then she'll lick it off. Yeah. So we're going to also take her outside, see if she'll drink water out there. Oh. That's what she did with the blue water bucket. Yeah, like when it's got something in it that she wants, she will drink out of it. Like she will, she will put her head in any bucket. 
Maybe put water in her green bucket. That is water in her green bucket. I know, but water to drink. Uh, some of you guys are concerned we're not changing her water every day, giving her fresh water. We change and give her fresh water 5,000 times a day. Like, way more than you would Hi. think. I want to show you guys how it feels. So. Like, we are, we are on it, you guys. Like, we're not just fooling around and being like, oh, you can drink this till it's finished. Like, we... So this, Ooh. Is, Ooh. So this is her arena so far. Like... It's uneven here there. Yeah, it's still uneven. We need like five million more. Can we bring Stella in here for just a short time? I don't know. We got to do something to get her to drink. But yeah, like Sim's doing it, you guys. Can we please? So still really low on this side. Water is still going to come in, but that's okay because we are going to be getting more stuff. <sighs> it's really expensive, too. It is like. Yeah. I love it though. Okay. Let me show you Stella's food. So I know So Gabby, take her hay and dump it. It's not the one in the hay net. Oh, we got our electric fence in here. We got. Oh. Oh. Where did it go? Oh, it's over here. Oh. So you can't really tell. But yeah, we got some dirt out here too. Yeah, it's not too bad. Because over that way, it's all like. Yeah, a couple of things. Two things in this field to pick up before she can come out here. But well, I'm going to bring her out here right now. Our uh, This paddock is going to end right here. So this is the gate that it's going to end on. You can close it up. Why don't you close it so that she doesn't. Uh, Sam's just doing one last thing so that it's uh, grounded. Yeah, it's safe to touch. <laughs> Essentially, this is their paddock. They're outdoor. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's the... Oh, that's the wire. It's not turned on yet. Don't trip. It's not turned on yet. So yeah, that's that's our electric fence for the front. So and I think... there's some over here. And some there. And then this is their indoor for now. And this is where we will be going in and out to catch Climber. This is where our mini is going to be playing. And so And, and what a difference. It's like freezing out there. I'm still going to be careful out there. Freezing out there and you step in here and it's like so warm. Uh, Stella's on stall rest but I'm taking her outside um, to see if it will encourage her to drink because she needs to drink. Somebody was concerned she was eating poop. She's not eating poop. She's getting a mineral Daddy, supplement. She's getting. Out. Don't eat poop. Uh, she she's looks looking like for she's hay. Barfed. Yeah, like she wants out, you guys. Like it's no joke. Like we get that. So this is all the poop we've pulled out of her stall in the last three I days. I told you Stella was laying down. Of course she lays down. No. <laughs> she wants out. Oh yeah, guys. Comment down below what should be her new nickname. Stella Bella. Nah. No. Guys, yeah, think smash because she has. So basically, Stella's on cell rest for one to two weeks based on how she does after her shoes go on. Um, she's allowed in like a, a small turnout area here as long as she can't run around. Um, and we can bring her outside for a bit. But we're taking her outside for a little bit so that she can maybe try and drink out there. Like maybe that'll stimulate her. A lot of out here too. What? Yeah, we're not allowed to let her loose because she's not allowed to run. Ruby, get out of the field. Get out of the field. No, let Ruby stay because Ruby's getting her used to being around a mini. <laughs> we should have fed her before we brought her out. But the whole water thing is driving me insane. She's getting water. She's getting water in her grain. She's getting water in her hay. She's getting water from her hands. She's getting water from a cup. Little bits of water from a cup, like she's getting water. She's just not getting the water she's used to. Anyways, uh, if you guys are, for any of you guys who are worried, like she's a bit spooky and stuff, this is the normal Stella. Like, remember when we moved to our new barn? She was snorting and snuffing and freaking out, and she does not like Ruby. <laughs> You're okay, Stella. Hey, there's nothing there. Don't worry. Nothing scary. There's nothing new things to look at. Just new things to look at. You're good. Don't take off with me. Been down that road before. <laughs> That's a joke, you guys. Um, 
our wheelbarrow is not clean anymore, you guys. Because it's frozen through some teeth. Yeah, frozen. I'm gonna leave that door open because she needs to like have light and air. I'm gonna leave this door open too. So um, she did eat all that grain, every single drop of that water that was in her grain, gone. She ate it all. We won't put the water in until tonight. Yeah. So another thing, we noticed a mouse or a mole or some animal in here last night. A mole that ran on top of mom's You foot. ran right on top of my foot? I it was not shy. That is why we do not have a mini as of yet because everything is under ice. We are headed to the feed store to get some beet pulp. This is how much we love Stella, you guys. This is the very first time I've ever cleaned the windshield, cleaned all the ice off the windshield. First time ever. She had to phone dad to I had to phone Sam to tell him how to do it because it was rock solid. We couldn't get it off. But all three of us worked together and got it off. Now we're going to go get the beat pulp. I if I can clean ice off the windshield in the middle of an ice storm, you can do anything. I'm boiling the water because it will uh, dissolve that beet pulp much faster and time is of the essence we want our girl to have this as soon as possible she's gonna get it twice a day we're gonna soak her hay dump the water so all the sugar comes out and then we're gonna add a whole new bunch of water soak it down in there so she has to fight through the water to get her hay and yeah like you have a bar. you gotta fight fire with fire all right we got the beet pulp Beep pulp and Ruby's in here, Dale. Do Scoot, not Dude, Stella. Oh, you are such a toad. I say that affectionately, you guys. Cool. She's like, I got Ruby? some. I swear to God that we did try putting water in a feed pan and she wouldn't drink it. So, okay, yeah, there's some poop. Okay, you guys, I'm showing you poop. <laughs> it's pretty fun. liquid, like it's, it's pretty wet. So I just, whoa. I just gave her some probiotics, you guys. Uh, so. Bee pulp, unsweetened bee pulp, probiotics, and this girl's getting mad. See what she's doing? She's looking down the hall there, and she wants to go in the arena with the girls. Like, she's getting restless. For the first time, she's starting to do this circles. Like, she, she didn't even really do that when we first got her. She wants out now. She wants out, but I think, like, if we take her out there, she'll run. But look at her. She's like, I'm going. I feel bad. So, up till this point, she has not been mad. Now she's mad. She's going through all the emotions. Sad, confused, hurt, stubborn, and now she's mad. So I hope she, she gets past this stage. Oh, it makes me sad to see her like that, though, because this is not who she's been so far. Like, I would take her out there and just let her stand because she's allowed to go out there and stand, but I don't think she's going to stand. Yeah, she's a little, she's, she's such a good girl. Like, she doesn't want to misbehave. She doesn't want to, she just wants to do what she wants to do, though. She's a girl. Like, I get girls. Anyways, um, the vet did say she could come out here. It's just that she should be out here in a closed off section so she doesn't have the whole place to, to run. He just doesn't want her running. You are a pill, I swallow it Take me away to Neverland What colors fade my disbelief And make me forget my memories <laughs> She's like, I'm so bored in that place Ruby, <laughs> a car you can't afford Put on a that we both know Let your hair out in the wind She's like, what was that? You feel better? Aww. Oh, oh, watch her. Ruby, shut up. Ruby's 
I don't think anybody spooked her. I think she no, wants. I think she wants to go. <laughs> Keep your eyes on her. I know people are going to be screaming at us. Your vet said stall rest. Our vet said a small area that she can walk around. She's just, she's not allowed to run. That's what she does when she feels good. Yeah, and I, I do think. I, I think mean, Ruby spooked her. that's what you don't. See, Mom, that's what you do when you have a horse that's galloping away on you. Well, you weren't even looking, and I could see her going, and I was like, oh my god, somebody's gonna get killed here. Girl. But I think she likes Guys, her new arena. My first strategy is back up quickly if the horse is close to you. Get that tire out of here. It's not the tire that's moved through the room. There's a bigger one. So, uh, some of our um, footing stuff, like the stuff that goes on the background, it's like frozen. So it's making it into stones, but we'll get rid of that. I don't think it was. Got spooked from Ruby, or she's feeling good. Nah, she's definitely feeling energetic. See, she wants to go now. It's because stall rest, and she's feeling I know, better. We suck at stall rest. But you guys, if he said your horse is really hurt, she needs to stay in her stall and not move, we would not be walking her a little. But he said one to two weeks. Based on what happens not after the farrier, that. not running, but as long as she can just walk a little tiny bit and, and not have enough space to run. Good girl. Good girl. Hello. See, when you just wiggle oh. it around a bit, she listens really well. Like, it's, this, is, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Guys, it may have seemed like I pulled hard, but all I did was this. I just pulled it like that. Yeah, well, I had a heart attack. Oh, you're okay. You're we'll okay. Go outside really bad. Put the pedal to the floor. Flame your light and take a smoke. Put your broken rip off. Wait for his arm. Doesn't matter if the sun goes down. We'll still be up, still be up. Don't care about the place we found. We'll still be up, still be up. We're in this together. We both fall down. Doesn't matter if the sun goes up. Cause we will still be high when the lights out. Yeah, let her go. Don't let her go. Just let her walk a little. <laughs> and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.